the Bulls and Raptors, and we got the Grizzlies and the Timberwolves. As we welcome you to Atlanta Studio J, it is TNT NBA tip-off presented by CarMax. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, studying the standings. Kenny the Jet Smith is back. <laughs> is that your Charles impersonation? <laughs> funny guy. <laughs> Uh, so Chuck is here. Kenny, good to have you back. Good to be back. But the funny thing is, no one knows that's how you look before the show because that's what he wears, yeah. his glasses. And, they're and all, then he takes them right off before the show starts. Yeah, so they're all catty ones. I am glad to be back. Your glasses, Chuck. Uh, I'm look, uh, show America your glasses how you, and how you wear them. Like, exactly. <laughs> exactly. For no apparent reason. Exactly. <laughs> that is. That is. So you feeling better? I'm feeling. We missed I'm you. Not, I'm like. Monday I'm like ninety. Day. Yeah. I was sounding like Kermit the Frog. Yeah. So um, we're was, glad to have you back. We know. Back. We know the previous week you were fighting it a little bit, yeah, but you I, stuck I, it. I saw out. your promo too. Yeah. What? <laughs> Your fan do promo, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh. all right. I saw you trying to read what I read, dude. It took. <laughs> 14 takes. Because you guys were messing with me. No, I it don't doesn't matter. You can't read. It should take you 14. You can't read, man. Just, uh, I know how to read. read. Yeah. You have to sound it out. Yeah. You have to sound it out, America. Fundamentals. It was, it was painful, and then he and he picked the wrong team to win the game too. So, oh my God, you were you were all over it. Uh, Carmax one on one. Let's get this thing started. So Pascal Siakam gets traded by the Toronto Raptors, and. Uh, in return, Toronto getting Bruce Brown, Jordan Wara, Kyra Lewis, and three first-round picks. We'll talk about that trade in just a second. But five years removed from their Kawhi Leonard-led NBA championship in 2019, the Raptors are under construction. Lauren Jabara will be working the sidelines tonight in Toronto, and we check in with her now. Lauren, good to have you with us tonight. Hey, EJ, it's good to be with you guys. Shaq, Chuck, before I get started, I just have to say the glasses like that, really good look. You should finish the show like that. But here in Toronto, it's the end of one era and the start of a brand new one. Only one player remains on this roster from the 2019 National Championship team, and that is Chris Boucher. After sending Pascal Siakam to the Indiana Pacers in a marquee trade yesterday, you look at everybody that's gone from that 2019 OG Ananobi traded a couple weeks ago to the New York Knicks. Obviously, Kawhi Leonard, Kyle Lowry, he was just here last night, Norman Powell, Pascal Siakam, Fred Van Vliet, now president of the team, Messiah Jury, had some really emotional words to say about what Pascal Siakam meant to this team, this city, and this organization, especially during that 2019 championship run in the six. Two African guys that won a championship, I share that with them. And a lot of people don't know that Pascal came to Basketball Without Borders in South Africa, and he only came to Basketball Without Borders to see his sister who lived in South Africa. All NBA, all All-Star, all everything, championship. That guy's success is my success, no matter where he is. Another notable thing that he said is this is not a rebuild. This is a reset and you're resetting around a guy like Scotty Barnes 22 years old playing to an all star caliber this season. You also have additions like RJ Barrett who came from New York but he's back here back home playing in his hometown in front of his friends his family. He said it's been a really easy adjustment coming here Emmanuel quickly as well his numbers have been up since he's been here the last couple of weeks albeit a small sample size but also good news Jordan Nuora and Bruce Brown both traded in that in that Pascal Siakam trade both available officially to play tonight uh, we asked Darko how he's going to use them he said oh, you guys we got to keep some secrets we have to wait till tip off to see that so we'll be waiting to see what this team looks like tonight but definitely some exciting things happening here in the six EJ sending it back to you guys in studio Thank you very much, Lauren, and hey to your mom and dad watching in Florida tonight. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you think so they got, you know, her family's cheap. You think they got cable? <laughs> her mom that and dad was are, a cheap shot, man. Yeah. No, we work together on guarantees. Her family's cheap. They don't have cable. The Jabaras do not have cable. <laughs> well, they, they are watching, I'm sure. So let's talk about the Siakam trade. What'd you make of it? I liked it for him, but a player of his caliber. You know, he, he's what I consider a great other, a Horace Grant, a, a Robert Orr. I would I would have liked to see him go to Philadelphia. Philadelphia is, is probably one one piece away. And, you know, as well as Joel Embiid is playing, to have a guy like that next to him, almost guaranteed a championship. However, but it's Indiana. So yes, however, going to Indiana, young team, 
capable if the chips flow the right way. And, you know, uh, Trey Halliburton, you know, play the way he playing and the guys Tyrese, play. Yeah. Tyrese, I, I keep saying yeah. it just six times. <laughs> I say Trey. <laughs> if, if they continue to play the way they're playing, they have a chance. You know, but they're but, but they're one of those young things. Things have to go right, like they <laughs> steal a game or somebody on another team gets hurt. They have the capability. But this guy right here, again, he's he is a great other. You know, I know they talk about Kawhi. You know, it was it was um, he was reason they won in Toronto. But you can never forget this guy. He is he is a, a important other. NBA All Star plays great. I'm happy for him, but I still think Indiana is one or two players away. But I wish him well. 22, 6, and 5, he averages, shoots better than 50%, plays both ends of the floor, been an all-star a couple of times, been all-NBA, second and third team, too. So uh, exactly what does this do Indiana-wise? Short term, um, he fits in. They play up-tempo style. They're going to run the basketball. They're going to, you know, they need versatile players. Multiple guys handle the ball with Halliburton. Uh, you know, a lot of different versatility things. 22, 5, and 6. That, that's, that's pretty impressive yeah. because Toronto doesn't play at the pace that Indiana plays. So he, his numbers prop on the on the assistance in their rebounding will go up. Um, perfect complement. Long term. I believe he, this is last year of his contract. It is. And he's making about $30 million a year now. He's going to want a bigger deal coming in because now you're saying I'm the second piece to your possibilities. And the question is, is he... Because when they won the championship, we saw that he wasn't the second best player on that team. Then he was coming into his own. There was when when uh, Kawhi left that he became a focal point. So we'll see if he can be a focal point of a team because Halliburton gets the gets rid of the ball. Now you have to have a guy who can kind of get offensive things. I think he's an elevated Chris Middleton. Like an elevated version of Chris Middleton. Well, he was the second best player when they won the championship. You go look at the numbers. I this, is a, this, this ain't a good trade for the Pacers. It's a great trade. Okay. It's a great trade, not even a good trade. I love what they're doing in Indiana. They're like, hey, you know what? Let's go for it. You're only afraid of the Boston Celtics. You're not afraid of the Bucks. We own the Bucks. We beat them pretty much every time we played them this year. The Sixers, I think they need another piece. We only got to beat the Boston Celtics. If we got a chance to get an all-star, an all-star, you don't very seldom get a chance to get all-stars on your team. And you say to yourself, I love, you know, his numbers are only going to get better because he's playing with better players. So you see them moving from seven to where? I think they could get to two or three because, listen, the Bucks, the Bucks are not playing well. You know, Shaq like to say they're 28 and 13, but they're not playing well. You know, they gave up 140 points the other night. Dame hit the shot. You can't give up 140 points and win in the NBA. I love what the Pacers are doing. My Sixers, I think they need another player. I really do. But I love this trade. I know they're going to miss Bruce Brown. I'm a big Bruce Brown fan. I actually think Bruce Brown going to get traded again to a contender because he's such a terrific player. But I love what the Pacers did. I think this is a great trade for them because, listen, when I look at this, when I'm looking at the standing, I says, the Celtics are the team to beat, but we don't feel anybody else. We already, if I'm the Pacers, we already own Milwaukee. Mm. The Sixers. In do, the regular season. Yeah, that, but that's, that, but Ernie, there's, it's a bad matchup because the Pacers, excuse me, the Bucks can't guard anybody. They can't guard anybody. And India, we'll see if Indiana defensively improves with a guy yeah, like but, but they, with but, his league. Because well, you talk about teams that don't guard anybody. Yeah, I, I understand that. But Kenny talks about it all the time. They don't guard anybody, but they're saying, hey, you know what? Let's just outscore people. Yeah. They got better yeah. offensively. I don't, they may be better defensively. But they got better. And like I say, the only team you fear in the East is the Celtics. Because they're already number one offensively. Uh, 